The people working in DeFi and like AI stuff are like a million times more competent than the people working on CBDCs and digital dollars. The disparity between the level of talent between the two is so large that it's really hard for me to imagine these government currencies really taking off. Very few people like you are running the numbers and even looking at the blockchain, which is public information, but most people don't do that, right? They will have to think a lot about this sort of risk and incentive management. And there's two camps of viewing this. One is you start doing that at the onset, but then you kind of grow more slowly. And the other is the own model of get as much liquidity in the door as possible and then fix it afterward. I think they both are valid ways of growing. I think it's more about understanding your user base in that case and like what you're thinking through who your user base will be in the future. The progress made has actually been quite astounding in terms of like even just getting to the point of having governance, getting to the point of like automating a lot of features of, of things in finance that quite frankly normally are done by lawyers. When I was graduating college, like the cool thing was always to, to go into AI stuff and everyone at the time was like, oh, like there are these AI companies, they'll like do tons of awesome research, but like they'll productize it and find a way to be a viable business. If we look back 10 years, right, DeepMind, OpenAI, places like that did not figure out how to monetize. They had to basically get added to like one of these big companies. But, you know, my dream is that we find, you know, we're, 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 we're one of those, but with a business model because it's crypto.